Hi everybody. So this is, these are our cichlids. They're still babies. Uh, we've had them for about a couple months. Um, we can't, we're having a hard time telling if they're male or female, but I think the majority of them are female. Uh, we're making this video just to show you uh, how you can make your own filter at home so you don't have to go spend $20, $30 on your own filter. So my brother is going to step in here and show you what we made. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. Okay, so as you see here, I have the Aquion 50. And so that's the 50 uh, gallons per hour filtration going through the tank right now. And I'm using the large filter. So it's got this patented technology way where it's, uh, I don't know, it's ice oxygenating the water, is reducing the ammonia in the water. And now you see this is the front of the filter. But if we take a look at the back, it's a disaster. Of course, it's time for replacing, right guys? We don't want that to be circulating through our tank. So I'll, I'll show you in the next uh, part of the video how to make your, your own filter at home for a fraction of the cost of, uh, of, bu of buying a brand new filter so you can save some money and you can do your filter changes more often and uh, save some money there. So let me put this back for now. I also want to show you the other filter. Okay, let's take a look at this one and so as you see it looks different from the other side because this is the one that I actually made about two weeks ago myself and I just wanted to test it to see um, if it's working as well as the the one that was bought at the store so here's the uh, front and then the back side you see that in two weeks how much uh, waste that's accumulated on here um, it's pretty solid, right? It's uh, sturdy, so it's catching everything that's coming through the water. And at the bottom here, you see a little bit of bump. So this is uh, activated carbon that uh, I have I purchased from the store, and it's in here to to remove odor and discoloration from the water. So let's put that back into. Oh, that's the back side. One thing we're gonna do differently this time is. Uh, since all the, the carbon went to the bottom, we're going to make little chambers so that the carbon is spread out to the top and bottom uh, to re so it can uh, filter the water more efficiently. And just to show you what my brother means by that, is if we look at the original store-bought one, you see this little X in the middle? There's actually uh, plastic uh, closures that it's like an X through the whole thing diagonally that has made contraptions or compartments within the filter. And this is uh, what it's doing is each compartment's filled with some co activated carbon so that they don't all go to the bottom. So that's the one modification we didn't make last time that we're going to do uh, this time around. So let's go to um, the next part of the video where I'm going to show you the materials you're going to need, uh, the approximate cost, and uh, on how to make it. Okay, to start off, you're going to need some of these supplies. I'm going to go through them uh, so you know what to purchase. Uh, we'll start with the easy things. You probably already have a ruler, scissors, and a stapler at home. And just in case, a pen and paper to write down the measurements um, if you can't remember. <laughs> um, the other two uh, items that you need here are the, the little carbon pellets that you can purchase at the aquarium store and as well as a strainer for the pellets to wash them. The other things you'll need, the, the most important part of the, this project is to make sure you get the, the um, uh, or let's get the focus here, there we go, a new material consisting of white polyester fiber. So you want to make sure uh, the, pro the material you buy is a, a polyester fiber because um, it's similar to what is being used in the aquarium uh, filters to clean the water. And another thing that you'll need is this uh, little wire. It's called a plastic canvas. So it basically gives the 
filter some structure to hold everything together. Um, so now we'll just go through the steps of creating the uh, filter itself. Um, they're pretty cheap. As you can see, it's $4.99 and it is pretty massive. You get about 36 inch by 48 inch of material. So you can have can be filtering for a while. <laughs> and now we're gonna go through the steps of putting this together. Oh, and this is also $199 or $169. So it's pretty cheap stuff. So we're gonna go through the steps now. Okay, so now we're gonna start by cutting the frame out. So the filter size that we have is a six and three quarter inch by five and three quarter inch. And we're just gonna measure that out on the, the plastic canvas here. I suggest using a, a felt pen or something like that here because the pencil is not working very well with marking but I can sort of see it so let's cut Okay, so now that we got the right size, uh, we're going to cut the polyester fiber into a similar size. Well, the exact same size actually. And wrap it around the frame. So another easy way is to just put this uh, plastic mesh right on here fold over leave a little bit of a edge you know about a quarter of an inch on the side because we're gonna close that off and similarly on the top portion or the bottom portion you're gonna leave a a quarter of an inch on the top too and just use your scissors to cut about a quarter also you can feel with your fingers here where the edge is and then just go along the edge I have to turn it around so my way Don't worry if it's not perfect or straight, as long as you have the general shape, you'll be okay. It doesn't have to be exact. It's a project you can do with your kids at home. Pretty simple. Just be careful with the scissors. Okay, so we're done with that. And we're done with this. So now you can see how this wire mesh or plastic mesh in the middle is going to keep this sturdy and uh, not going to bend much with the force of the water and keep the structure of the, uh, the polyester fiber. So the next step uh, we're going to do here is we're going to just close off the, the sides a little bit so that we can keep it all intact. I'm using a stapler to do that you can really you know use if you know how to sew you can have a needle and a thread and just sew right through the mesh all around to close this off um, I don't know how to sew so I'm just <laughs> gonna staple and I'm just going along the side and I'm also stapling the plastic mesh right through the mesh and the end result you have here is basically one side 
all stapled pretty you know doesn't have to be right close to each other but a little bit of gap just okay the bottom's already sealed and then we're just going to do this side and i think i've run out of staples so let me grab some staples and i'll be right back okay we're back got some uh, staples and ready for action here As you can tell, does, this does not have to be a perfect job. That's what makes it so easy to do. But if you can do a better job stapling than me, that would be great. You can do that. And you see here's the back side with all the staples. Okay, now we have the opening. So we made kind of like a pocket. And the reason I kept the plastic mesh and stapled after is because if you try to staple it first and then put the plastic mesh in it's going to be very difficult the edges get stuck and it's going to start tearing the inside of uh, the polyfiber so it's better to keep it inside then sew or staple or however you want to um, close close it up so now we're going to move on to our aqua clear filter insert activated carbon um, this you can find at any pet store, fish store, uh, readily available. And basically there's a bag of um, activated carbon. So what I'm going to do is because we do have to uh, rinse this with water because it does have a lot of um, uh, residue and black uh, stuff that comes off of it the first time. Um, I'm going to rinse it under water. So to do that, I'm going to pour some into this wire mesh or straightener and uh, that and then run water through it. So, you know, you know, use as much as kind of you, you feel like you need, um, you know, that's, that's probably enough for me is because I'm going to be changing this filter often and I don't want to put too, too much. Now this mesh is a little bit large because as you see some of it is falling out so um, probably next time we're gonna use a different um, straightener it's a little bit smaller holes all right now we're at the kitchen sink and as I mentioned before we're just gonna rinse the uh, activated carbon here with water and you're gonna lose some you know you win some you lose some pretty much <laughs> You know, you're saving money with doing the filter yourself. It's okay if you lose a little bit of carbon there. So, just running some cool water through this so we can get it all the, the black stuff off of it. Not the color, but the coloration that comes off of it. The dust. The dust. That's why I have a brother handy. Okay. Now that's pretty much enough. Okay, we have our washed activated carbon. I'm just gonna use my hand, grab a pinch, and just pour it inside. Okay. And that's gonna go down. These things stick to your fingers, so when they're wet, so you can just wipe it down and I'm gonna tap it so now they're all at the bottom here and what I told you guys before about doing the X so we just use the same stapler and go diagonally okay so I went and grabbed a, a larger stapler um, because the other one was too small and it got caught in the corner so now what we're gonna do actually to make sure that all the pockets um, that we're going to create have carbon in them and they don't all sink to the bottom is we're gonna make a triangle shape first here and there's already some carbon in the bottom pocket and then once we've done that we're gonna start filling the other pockets so Okay, and we start from the other corner.
Okay, so we got trapped carbon right there. Now, we're going to um, put more carbon in here and then same thing, close it off again. Oh, there's some that got left on the, the top part too. Ideally, what you want to do is your center really should be here. Then you got four equal chambers. But again, this is a DIY, so it's not going to be perfect. So a little bit more carbon for the top section. And we've used all of them here and they're they're all here now okay so I would say that we are almost done here and we got to repair a couple of staples here so let's seal it off there you have it so we're gonna test it out oh one step I forgot we gotta rinse it underwater so let's let's go to the sink again. Okay, we're at back at the kitchen sink and we got our uh, filter. I'm just gonna rinse it through water. Our carbon is starting to show a little bit. You see there's some in every pocket here. The front and back. And we are completely wet here. So and just in case you're wondering about the water flow. If water really flows through this, you can see at the bottom that water completely goes through. Okay, I'm going to squeeze some of the water out. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we're back at the uh, filter, the uh, hang on back filter. So I've removed the, the old filter already, the dirty one. And uh, I'm going to take this piece out, insert the filter we made into the, the track portion and slide it all the way down. And as you see, we have a perfect and snug fit. And I'm going to insert it back into where it was supposed to be. And to finish things off, put the lid back on. And we have a new filter uh, for our cichlid tank here. Hey guys, thanks for watching up to this point and making it to the end. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know before we recap everything is that uh, we're, we keep one filter in uh, one of the, I guess you could call dirtier filters, um, in the water so that we can keep the good bacteria flowing through the, through the aquarium so we don't disrupt the environment too much while the newer filter takes, uh, does the cleaning as well. Um, now to recap everything. Make sure you, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the right supplies. So make sure you get your rulers, scissors, staplers, plastic canvas, the polyester fiber, uh, the activated carbon, and the strainer. The next thing you want to do is you want to make sure you measure your filter, cut out plastic, cut out the plastic canvas and polyester fiber. Then uh, staple the sides to create a big pocket. And what you want to do at this point is wash the activated carbon to remove any dust and um, any color that might come off of it. Then you want to put the carbon in the pocket and staple a triangle, to, a triangular shape at the bottom so that you can create the chambers and then fill in each chamber and staple a second triangle to create an X. Um, at this point what you want to do is once you complete the filter is you wash the filter and then at that point you would uh, insert the filter into the uh, black container uh, so that you can put it back in the aquarium. 
Um, th that's basically it. It's a pretty simple process. Um, and at this point, if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions, please let us know in the comments below. And also, please subscribe and like our video if you liked it. And suggest any topics that you want us to uh, make or discuss in the future. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to make videos roughly once a week or maybe even sooner if we end up um, doing something or see something cool. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.